was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever feed me. Hey guys, welcome to Son of Pizza Man. I'm Enzo. And I'm Davey. And today we are talking about cauliflower pizza. But before we get into it, uh, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that right here. Just hit that red button and you'll be subscribed. Just hit all the buttons. Hit all the buttons. Hit and all the buttons. If you're, if you're feeling extra, extra frisky, you can hit the notification bell and uh, that'll actually notify you when I upload new videos each week. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Okay, so we're talking about cauliflower pizza today. Um, I haven't made a cauliflower pizza yet because... They're gross. I don't know if they're gross, but <laughs> I feel like um, everyone has, has made one and, and it's kind of like whatever, but I feel like we've done some gluten-free pizzas. <laughs> So what we did today, we did something special today. Ooh. Uh, so I made a cauliflower pizza from scratch, but I also bought a frozen cauliflower pizza. And I thought it would be fun to kind of compare uh, and see what the difference is. Am so, I going to do a blind taste test? No. Oh. But um, so we did, this is the uh, frozen cauliflower Call it power. Call it power. Call it power pizza. I, I know there's a. I know there's a bunch of other um, brands that do cauliflower pizza, but this is the one we saw, and it's a three cheese. So I uh, thought it would be a good comparison kind of dealy. So, yeah. so let's just let's just get into it. All right. So I'll tell you right now the. Um, the frozen pizza looks disgusting. Uh, <laughs> it was in the oven for like 15, 16 minutes, which uh -huh. is what the instructions said. Uh, and my pizza looks a lot better. It does look nicer. So, this does look more homemade, right? For sure, but yeah, so, um, yeah. I don't know. It's also going to be flimsy. Yeah. Um, Both of the pieces are going to be flimsy. Probably. <laughs> I don't know that cauliflower pizza actually gets super crispy. It's Ooh, like, oh my god! Yeah, uh, it's, it's should I get like a? Do you want a fork? Should I get a fork? All right, I'll get a fork while you entertain. So uh, let me tell you all the reasons why I hate cauliflower. One, farts. Uh, those are terrible parts about cauliflowers. Another thing I don't like about cauliflowers. They're flavorless. Okay, that's enough. Okay. All right, here's your fork for you. All right. All right, so let's um... That, I can... They must put some sort of binding agent in it. Yeah. It's definitely like together. All so right, let's so try the frozen one first. Do the frozen one first. Okay, thanks for this. So it's the frozen. Um, all right, so... Okay, manja. Uh, predictions first. Uh, I'm gonna predict that the homemade is better I'm than sure. the frozen. Okay. I'm just saying. All right. All right. Mm. Well, it doesn't taste like it's completely cooked at all. No. Um, it doesn't taste like it's just cauliflower, also. It tastes like there might be... Flour? Some kind of flour in it, also. Yeah, because the crust is, like, not... Yeah. 
Is that mine? I've checked the ingredients on this guy. Where are the ingredients? Okay. Cauliflower, tomato sauce, brown rice flour. So there's flour in here. Yeah, brown rice flour and tapioca. Right. So that's, I guess that's how they get it to be like more stable and yeah. not, not soft and mushy. Okay. Anyway. All right. So let's try the, the homemade version. Now, I mean, for, for, I mean, for sure, the like, <laughs> it's not as together. No. Well, for one thing, this tastes a lot more like cauliflower. Right, because it's just cauliflower. Because it's just cauliflower. But it's got, I mean, it's got like eggs and cheese and stuff in it, but. Yeah. I don't know. It's, um. Guess what? I, I, hate, like, I hate both of these. Wow. I like the homemade one better, uh, just personally. Uh, I think the homemade so. one is better because it just has a lot more sauce on it and there's a yeah. lot more flavor, which yeah. is great. Um, so, um, final verdict, I would say that if you're gonna try cauliflower pizza, maybe make it yourself. It's super easy to make also. So I would, I would suggest maybe making it yourself or ordering it at like a pizzeria or something. Don't get the frozen pizzas because they're always hit or miss anyway. I think that they're both fine. I think that the biggest loss of the frozen pizza is that it doesn't have, like even when you get a frozen pizza that's like not great, at least it's crunchy and it's like salty, you know? Yeah. And so even if it's not great, it's still like, hits you know hits all those zones and that's great um but yeah this is just bland and just not that good whereas like the homemade one is at least if nothing else there's a lot of flavor in it which is really good right. um but it does taste a ton like cauliflower and as i said earlier i don't like cauliflower that much it tastes kind of kind of tastes like farts um, i don't mind fart hey i don't mind a fart i, I just don't want to eat a fart uh, before we go, I just wanted to make a quick mention that we are on Patreon. So if you are like, oh my god, I love your videos, I want you to make more, and you're awesome, uh, you can <laughs> say thank you through a uh, subscription uh, kind of thing uh, through Patreon. So essentially, you commit to a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars a month. Um, and you get uh, bonus perks with that, which is awesome, like access to exclusive content and little like uh, gifty things and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you haven't, check out patreon.com slash son of a pizza man and um, there are more details on that page. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching as always. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. And until next time, smell you later. Ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of a pizza man. Yes, he.